Alrighty. And there we have. Those are done. Looks really cool. It's a neat effect. So. <clears throat> okay. I need to sand the bottom of the frame rails, which is facing the ground. <sighs> Gotta make those look good too. Uh, make them nice and flat. So. Just kind of cleans it up a little, you know. Makes it a decent build. I'm putting a, a bevel. Well, not quite a bevel, just like an angle on the straps I put on. So they don't look too goofy, you know. I don't like them squared off. They don't look good. To me, I just think it adds to it. Gives it more of a professional look. Okay, let's go back and double check everything and recaption everything, get you all caught back up. Um, yeah, it looks a lot better. Let's see if we can shine it in here so you can see it. Box didn't real nice. Sides, bottom, um, actually top. Everything looks really good. Um, everything's got a um, an angle on the edges, so it's not a sharp edge. So, it looks really good. So, see about that. And see if I can get this rear end set up. I'll have to uh, mock everything back up and uh, I'll have to remark my uh, rear end holes. So, oh, yeah, and respond to a buddy of mine that I'm online with. Okay. Now, the choices I found is uh, I have some ladder bars from a AMT Nova kit, 72 Nova kit, but they mount on the bottom of the rear end, the axle tubes, and I'd like to do away with the end, maybe put a couple extensions on here, and then make a bracket on the rear end itself, so instead of it being on the bottom, like so, I'm going to put it so it's right here, which in turn I'll be able to get it down just a little lower. So I'm going to try to decide here and, uh, and I'll get back with you. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish up the uh, all the sanding with the uh, finer grit, my pink board. This will get rid of the deep scratches and, and whatnot here, so we'll go ahead and fine tune that. Um, what I didn't say before when I was sanding, I wasn't applying much pressure because otherwise it creates really deep sand marks. And going in with this pink one, it'll make them stand out when you go to paint it. So I'm going through and trying to trim everything up, the edges. Get everything looking uh, respectful anyway. Decent will work. Nothing worse than painting it and all of a sudden all the scratches show up and it's like, oh, I forgot to do something. Also, the uh, the white evergreen stock I put in the square, I, uh, I'm going to sand that a little bit because I've had it a while and it was getting discolored. And I'm going to go ahead and sand it and uh, almost make it look like new again. So there won't be no paint adhesive problems there, you know. So that just about does it. it. Looks really good. A little bit here. You gotta make sure you go back and do your edges, cause you just took a little layer there, and it'll leave a little uh, uh, fuzz, a little booger, I guess you can call it. This makes it nice, crisp edges, so they look decent. Alrighty. We'll let you take a look at that, see what you think.
that's the top side there's the bottom side um, one of the sides we'll flip it over and you see the other side I also uh, took the liberty to remove the rubber stops the actual stops there was one up here there's one right down here actual bumps I removed them because actually the rear end is not going to be right right in the center of the curve it's going to be back here just a smidge so that won't hurt anything it'll still look good and I guess on that note we're ready to uh, try to configure this rear end oh I also sanded the uh, the back part that I cut right in the center there and joined it back together so now you almost really can't see it I didn't do too much on the inside because well I doubt you'll see that but sanded it a little bit so now it looks uh, like it's just one piece so that helps there I mean you can always think of, you can do that or you don't have to it's not a big deal I did it just for look purposes so looks like we're ready to gather some pieces and see what I can do with these uh, ladder bars see if I can use them I went in and sanded the uh, molding lines away where it was pieced together on both of them now I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this I know this end here I'll show you this end here I'm gonna stick plastic tubing in hollow tubing in and that'll be my uh, locating point for the front so I just gotta figure out the back cool mm -hmm. as Bessel Brothers hot rods would say with their finger doing all the talking see and this and there so yep <laughs> sorry <coughs> I always thought it was cool I really did so let me gather some pieces and some thought and we'll get back to you hey folks we're back we're uh getting ready to show you what I got for uh, Father's Day here oh here we go oh, let's try a better song this one's from Nickelback animals don't worry it ain't gonna be on long just long enough to show you the uh, little toy I got been wanting one of these for a while Go ahead and uh, we'll zoom you into it and uh, check that out. That's what the wife and kids got me for uh, Father's Day. That's what the base of. That's what I'm usually jamming with when I'm uh, working on something. <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, we'll get that turned up so we don't have any sound clicks here, you know. Make this wide again. There we go. So I'm going to shut that up. There we go. But yeah. I've uh, wondered one of them for a while now. I tell you what, it's really, really cool. So, alrighty. Here's what I came up with solid plastic rod. Um, I used my uh, little round rat tail file, really small, dinky one. And uh, I notched it. I put a V in it with the uh, X Acto blade. So I knew which way you know it had to go and it wouldn't get off track and whatnot. So I pro welded them on there. What I'll do is uh, I'll get them cut so they're flush. Well, just a little bit past flush uh, on the outside, make them just a little thicker, so I can make plates for it. And, uh, and then we'll drill them out. And then I'll use straight pins to hold it. Or a small piece of wire, about the same thing. So 
that's where we're at right now. I am decided to back you up at the front, I figured out. So we're going to go ahead and grab the Dremel and uh, go ahead and clean some of this out. So, bear with me a little bit. I'm going to probably cut, make the first cut. And then uh, we'll go from there. down she was bouncing a little bit I didn't want to do too much so it should be good now go slow you don't want to break the weld you just did alrighty there's that it up a little bit said you know I just pro it together and I don't want to break it up so work extra careful here and then probably what I'll do is once I get the hole drilled I will go back I'll pro weld it again I mean the stuff bonds pretty good but you I have broken them you really got to give it some force, but alrighty, that one needs to be sanded a little. Love cut, just a little, not much. There, there's that one. Make sure that one's straight, uniform with the uh, ladder bar, of course. Alrighty, so there's one. One end, one eyelet, I guess you could call it. That's what I'm going to call it. I'm keeping the space between the sanding stick and the eyelet I put on there. Keep the same space as you're sanding. This way you know you're straight. Go ahead and I'll grab my little drill bit. 